Database versus Data Warehouse versus Data Lake When someone says a database, typically they are referring to a relational database. Now a relational database can capture and store data via an OLTP process which stands for Online Transactional Process. So when company completes the transaction and sells an item, it will record that within a database and that data has the ability to be live real-time data. Data in a database is going to be stored in tables which has columns and rows and this will be highly detailed, which means you are going to be able to go and see every single aspect of the data and databases also have a really flexible schema which means you can go in there and kind of change things as you go to make it work for what you need. Now. A data warehouse is also a database just like we were looking at before, but it is going to be used for analytical processing or OLAP. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing and it's created to basically analyze huge amounts of data. Now if you notice on the last slide there were three databases they were just kind of sitting there they were storing the data in that visualization they have on the right three databases on the bottom are all aggregating and sending the data to this data warehouse via an ETL process which is where it extracts the data it transforms and loads it exactly how they need it in this data warehouse and that is how data is put into the data warehouse it isn't getting it directly from the source but it's being put into a database and while the ETL process is being updated as it goes or whenever the ETL process runs a data warehouse will always have the historical data but it will not always have this current data unless the ETL process is running every single day or very frequently. The data in the data warehouse is also a little bit different because we are doing this ETL process to get the data in there. We are not actually putting every single piece of data or every column and row in there. We are typically summarizing it and then putting it in there which will allow us to process that data for our analytical purposes much faster. Now a data warehouse is going to have a much more rigid schema so you can really need to plan ahead with how you are going to put your data into a data warehouse it is not as flexible as just a database. So now let's look at some of the key differences between a database and a data warehouse. 1. A database is going to be used for recording transactions or a data warehouse is used for analytical and reporting. 2. A database is going to have fresh and detailed data where data warehouse is going to have summarized data. It is only going to be as fresh as the ETL process is created. 3. A database is going to be a little bit slower for querying large amounts of data and when you do query large amounts of data, it can actually slow down the processing of all those transactions. 4. 
A data warehouse is designed for the exact opposite. It was designed to be very fast at querying and not slow down any processes because it isn't part of that transaction processing at all. So that we have looked at a database and a data warehouse. A data lake was basically designed to capture any type of data that you could possibly want. It could be a video, a picture, an image, a document, a graph, anything you could imagine that you would want to put in a database or store in some way. You can store it in a data lake. Now there are a ton of use cases for a data lake, but I think people who work with machine learning and AI get to use it or benefit from it the most. They can use all that structured and unstructured data and create models to really use it in its raw form where if you want to use it for analytical purposes, typically you are going to clean it up a little bit and do a little bit more work to actually make it usable. And so a data lake is just that. It's this lake where you can basically throw any type of data in there but it's not always super usable because you are just putting it in there in its raw form if you want to use it for analytical purposes and reporting most of the time you are going to want to clean that up and put it into a database or a data warehouse So now when we are looking at all three, they are all different and they are all used for different purposes. So one option is better than another for your data. If you're using it just to record transactions, a database is what you should do. And if you have a large amount of data that is just too much for your database to handle, it sounds like you might need a data warehouse. And if you have all this data they have no idea what to do with or it's unstructured, semi-structured data that you cannot fit into a database or then I highly recommend using a data lake. There really is no one size fits all. Three of these can options for different uses and in fact you can use all three within one company for just different things that your company needs. Thank you. So guys, this was for today. Give us your thoughts on this in the comment section and if you appreciate our content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your family and friends. We will meet you soon in the next video. Thank you. Jai Hind.